What's up guys, it's Red back here, and we're going back into some more Lay the Spire. I don't know what to call it yet. I need a good name. People have an idea. Library of Runa plus Downfall. Library of Downfall, maybe. Actually, I don't mind that one so much. I'm going in with the Guardian this time. That's what we can do. Um, we are going to accept that invitation and get in here. So we do always get the bucket here. Do we go with bucket this time? Obtain bucket. Okay, and it doesn't take away our starting relic, which I do prefer. Let's just leave for now. So, got this nice, super cool, uh, very energetic rock music in the background this time. Need to figure out what path we're going for. Let's see. Okay. If we go here, though, it's going to pop us to the other side. Oh, no, it'd be this way. I actually have to go over there. Lots of rest here. There we go, up to here. I think that is the path of choice. Then we gotta decide what we're doing. I think Twin Slam, probably the best upgrade to start off with. Additional damage here. Yeah, 12 damage on one card. Let's do that. Could be tempted to take the red gem, but sometimes it does or does not work um, with the, some of these Library of Runa stuff, so not going to do that. Um, going in to start here, one of the things I wanted to discuss as part of trying some different stuff and doing some different things um, with the Slay the Spire series, one of the things I thought would be fun, the more I like use different mods and do things, would be a, I don't have a name or a title for it yet, but to pick out like a combination of cards and relics to start with and go through the whole run and see how absurd we could do it. I think I did something similar uh, playing with the like, uh, the command prompts and stuff but doing like start a run with you know creative ai yeah and uh storm or something like that or some of the different lobotomy cards making a whole run um with you know some of these abnormality cards and different things i think it could be fun or starting with like specific relics just to see how crazy you can get um so that's something i'm toying around with I wanted to know your guys' opinions before I really um, got into um, got into like really setting it up. An additional start each combat, start combat. Uh, I do like this. We're gonna go with this. Uh, weak and frail on the first turn is not great, but setup is key. Um, so I did want to throw that out there for opinions. Um, if you guys think it'd be fun just to see how like spooky and nutty um, we can end up getting uh, let me know and we will try doing it um, if you think it'd be too like too I can do all the setup beforehand the hard part's really just gonna be um, deciding what uh, kind of setup we want to do what thing do we want like what relics and combinations but since you guys have been super amazing um, with the different comments and stuff I felt like it wouldn't be too hard to come up with um, different sets of objectives and like uh, different things we're doing each run. So throwing it out there, we'll discuss it maybe in the comments, um, come up with like how we want to do it, maybe what the rules are, maybe we, we set like, you know, depending on the build, we try to like do as many bosses as possible, maybe like go to the heart even if we need to like give ourselves the keys to start out with, stuff like that. Just to see like what absurd nonsense we could do. Crowd of galaxies. I don't. I don't know. Um, whenever you put this card in your hand, it gains a gift. Or just by one. If this card is not in your hand, playing a card with a gift will exhaust it. Deal six damage to ourselves. I need a gift will exhaust. It. So gifts cost less, but we need this in our hand to really take advantage of it. Yes. Mm -hmm. None of these are like super interesting. I the dreamy dreaming current seems the best best one we might want to take here. Consistent healing is pretty good. All right. What are we gonna do? Roll attack if in defensive. Takes all enemies. Otherwise, brace eight. Pretty good starting card. 
having a source of brace in your deck is always pretty nice. Um, pretty big hit. Also possible AoE. Uh, okay. Walker Claw is good, but I don't feel like... I feel like that's a later card to add in. I think you get Walker Claw because you have a strength build. Let's the other way around. And reroutes is good. And this... Let's do... I'm really tempted to take roll, out, roll attack. Mm-hmm. <laughs> the upgrade. 20 damage. What's your upgrade? Well... We'll try roll attack here. Um, it kind of pairs well if we end up going into like a stasis build. Um, just because we can then... Uh, stick, put it into stasis and use it later. Okay. Here's our healing. <clears throat> I'm gonna go strike. I'm gonna just go curl up here. Alright. Up there. I forgot we had five energy. Uh, we really need some innate cards to really start taking advantage of that. Alright. Oh, gross. Gross, gross, gross. I mean, 12 is just a pummeling to you, but... This is 8 plus 4 is also 12, so either way it's the same amount of damage. We also have double... Oh, they must have weakened us. Oh, they have vulnerability, so... We did fine there. Okay. Current, defend here. When slams, uh, let's go for defensive here. Being weakened and vulnerable is not as much fun. Oh, here we go, and there's roll attack. 24 damage, not bad. Fragment of Universe is just good. I'll take it. Alright. Crystal Ward is pretty good. Do I really want that? Alright, Game 5 3 Brace. Place a card from your discard pile on spaces. I like this a lot. This Recover energizes pretty well with this roll attack. More Brace means we have more likelihood of uh, being in. Um, defensive mode when we get our roll attack. I'm gonna take that for now. I think we will prioritize this elite here. Hello, Fragment of Universe. I have your card. Alright, current dreaming. We're gonna do this, this, this. Boom. We really could use, um, a, uh, cards that benefits more on turn one. I can't think of the names like, uh, experimental, experimental treatment. Um, stuff like that to benefit really well. Giving everyone vulnerability on turn one would be good too. Alright, start with that. But with the artifact and we're not weak on turn two, which is kind of nice. We do kind of burn it up immediately, but... Not the worst. Um, 16, double hit, and you're dead. People are saying Scorch Girl. Increase damage dealt for each card in your hand, ethereal. Whenever this card is exhausted, deal 30 damage to yourself. But this card is also ethereal. I don't really need another two drop card that's going to hurt me currently. I think I'll wait. But I did, some, like after rereading it there, I do see why that is a good pick. I don't think I'll take an Ancient Power here. Uh, cheating it out with um, Stasis could be very good. Oh, gross. Well, Temp. I think I'm just going to go ahead and drink this for fun. And let's get some damage out. I'm actually going to go ahead and kill this one. It seems like a pretty good turn. Well, pretty good thing to do. Get them off the field. Oh, man. Uh, 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 uh. Not a great hand. I'm gonna play this. We're gonna take 15. That's 16 damage. I could wipe you off the map. And I think I will. Get them out of here. That still gives us a little bit of our stuff here. And there's another gift from Latia. Alright. Do that. He's transforming, but when you... Wait, let me see. Explodes, dealing 10 damage and adding a gift. I can't knock him out. I'll take four again. I want to get this one out. Construction form. And it's ethereal. <laughs> Not good. Okay. Is what it is. Did get the form change here. Oh, there's roll attack. Dude, that should do it to all of me. So we want to dream current. 16 to both is good. Now we can start laying into Latia. 
100% more damage now. We do need a block still. Current dream. Let's get that health back. Uh, I will recover here. And then current dream. Now, I don't think that affects me anymore now, right? Yeah, it's not. I don't think it's dealing damage to me anymore. I don't think it matters because I think she's about dead. Up the, oh, that's the gifts hitting me. I actually like having that up out of our way in stasis. Pretty nice. Um, curl up's worthless. Nine. Oh, fuck. Just for plenty here. One attack, and you're dead. Ooh, Gremlin Horde's good. And here we go, another new card. We have plenty of stuff. The Fiery Bird, four damage to all fighters. I assume that includes myself then. Whenever this card is played, increase this cost by one to a maximum of three. Is not played, reduce this cost by one. Okay. Damage value of this card increases with its cost. Each additional cost increases its damage by eight. Okay. And when playing this card, if the cost of this card is two, or when below 25% max HP in five region. There's three, add a burn to your drop pile at the end of the turn. Cost is three, reduces cost to zero. Lose 20 max HP and gain Feather of Honor. I mean, we have to try it. That seems cool. Also just seems good in, in general. Um, Stasis field. Place this card in stasis point. At least stasis increases block by three. That's cost. That seems pretty good. Good block card. I also dislike suspension. I think stasis field might be a little better though. Mostly because it places itself in the spaces. Mystery machine is pretty good here. Okay, curl up goes to. Okay, place the card in your hand and the stasis is actually pretty a lot of stuff I want up and out of my hand. Yeah, let's try this first. And they have changed it. That used to do a completely different effect. And I actually forgot it had been changed. So this is X right now. Is it not <clears throat> zero? Yeah, I've already unlocked everything. Yeah. I should have added it to my deck first and unlocked it, I guess. Okay. I'll heal. Play this. Dealt four damage to me too. Fine. Stasis field, and it goes up into stasis. And we're gonna roll attack here, and then we'll just duck it. Seems pretty okay. Damage from her, but plenty of healing. Um, gonna put it up into stasis, honestly. Get a defend up there. Not too bad. Alright, defensive mode here. I get. Exactly what we want. But we're gonna do stasis. I do stasis field here. Hmm. Yeah, do that. You go ahead and do this too. And put this up in there so it's not in our hand. I don't want to deal with it, but this still gives us the ability to use it efficiently. I very much like. Alright, hit him. End here. Do I curl up a strike? Now curl up that strike and defend again. Actually, I didn't need to. I didn't realize I had so much defense. Hey, okay, dreaming for six. Rollout is good. You will do two to all fighters. So do this first, then do this. Yep. Correct way to do that. And I think 20 coming. Well, 20 coming in is pretty Yeah. Brace eight. Enough. Almost enough. Just a little, little fragment here. And we'll defend. No reason to take no damage if I don't need to. Okay. Dreaming, recover. The dreaming back up there. Yep, that's what I wanted. Then we'll get in some more damage to here. A little bit of a slow deck, but I'm not too opposed to it overall. Yeah. That is gonna hit you for four. Okay. Too, that's kind of a bit, so that to start with. Alright. Do this rolling attack. And they're dead. Uh, I can't take Fairy Festival this time. Crumbling armor is just 
and a copy of the furniture dropper. And it's a random amount of damage if I didn't like it. If it told me how much, I would be tempted to take it, but... Basis tech, brace two, then gain it. And one inner volatile. Place the top two cards of your drop out. I don't like that. Let's do a planning. We're doing like a, a, a hybrid kind of basis y build. Uh, we got a shop next, right? We're definitely going to it. We'll save. I don't want to break the ammo key yet. I think ancient power should be upgraded. Seems pretty dang good. Hello, my shopkeep friend. Face the field. Dreaming. Poke you for a little bit. I'll hit you again. We're not very, like, high damage, so. This is just for the fun of it. Two cards. Yeah, not really what I wanted to see. I'd rather have those in my hand, but. Not how it goes sometimes. I still might get to play them, but I'm not quite sure. Uh, Ancient Power is excellent artifacting. Not the best. Brawl. Brawl Attack is kind of the card I want to play, so. We will do so. Alright. We will get a little bit of damage on them. Hit ya. Hit ya. Curl up. Put this card into stasis. There we go. It's up out of my way. Brace again. Put Twin Slam back up. Just to keep the routine up. But we did not do a lot of damage. But still 250 is enough to carry a little bit with us. Um, I think I'm good. Ooh, Piercing Hide. More consistent bracing. Let me choose one in the put. I prefer this. Reprogram. Okay, we do need an in inevitability kind of card. Mercury Allagos would be good. It's a little too slow, I think, though. I think I'm going to take Evil Within. Wish we could have picked up a card removal. But we will not be able to. Another roll attack would be okay. Mm, I need more, like, stasis slots. I know there's a way to do that. I just don't remember what it was. Towel. Take that, especially right before the elite. Pretty good here. Okay. Curl up, put this into there. I don't need it right now. Reprogram, put, I guess a strike. And we'll stasis field here. All right. A little bit of setup. Bad. Everything's on a two turn clock too, so. Terrible here, fragment. Defend. Ooh. Let me get some damage out. And if it gets bad, this language will help a lot because I do multi attack. Okay, free healing. Strike you. Mm, top two cards of your draw pile. Recover. Put this back up there. Uh, stasis. Wind slam view. Planning. I've got a roll attack. That's actually not too bad. Also, the thorns are pretty good. Evil Within. That was one of the ones we wanted. And we got Donu Blast. Actually, not too bad. That kills this one. Gremlin Horn, give us more. Hit you for a little bit. Um, everything is loaded up in here, so we're just going to pass here. Let him thorn himself to death a little bit here. Healing. Alright. Um. Fence is filled. Curl up. Put the deck of shield for a different turn. Okay. Attack. Healing. I don't really need a heal. Let's go for the, the kill. Give it the full gusto, I guess. I don't need it. First of all. Remove and upgrade a card from deck. Upgrade two car random cards. I think Happy Flower is just a bit better. Uh, I mean, better defensive cards are always good, but I don't know if we really need it. Ooh, offer something to the grinder. 
I don't remember what this does. Oop. I think it does something good. Oh, I don't know what I give it. Confirm. Yeah, there it is. We can upgrade it. <laughs> Gain spice, which I'm always tempted to do. Pretty early too, it could be nonsense. Let's see. 12 and 12. It's not much better than what it is now, is it? It's 10 currently. Anymore. I think I'll take spice. And we do lose the card though, which is sad. That was one of our powerhouse cards, but spice is really good. Extra 8 max HP and one additional card draw each turn. So we have the cheers at the start. Okay. Do this. Piercing hide. Okay, in which we keep the thorns. One slam and strike. You are out of here. Draw another card. Oh, they do blow up for damage to us. We gotta remember that. Okay, some more artifacting and stuff though. Alright, we'll take a little bit here, but they're also gonna take damage to themselves. Okay. Do that. Healing. Did we exhaust our... Oh, we did exhaust the Dreaming Current. That's fine though. Or they might have done it, I'm not sure. Okay, let's see. Six damage. I don't really want to take that. Poke you, poke you. Alright. Program, curl up, defensive roll. So it should be... Curl up. Give me... Put this up there, that's fine. Do not really matter too much. And they do how much on death? I don't think it says. I know it is a quantity, yep. Lot. Seven block. Uh, reprogram. Not matter because we can't put it up there. But they're dead to themselves. Okay. Oh, I don't know which one of these. I think the bracelet. In one region, if you don't lose PHP in six turns, lose ten max. It's so steep though. In one region. Ugh. Whenever you draw a curse status, discard it. Draw one card. I think I'd rather have this one, the behavior adjustment. Buffer, old lady. Yin. I don't know which one. Preferable here. Yin, I feel like, messed us up. A little bit that one time, but let me reread it again. One buffer. After activating Yang for no less than two turns. After activating Yang for no less than two turns. And you become enemy units on the opposing side of the screen. Please do whatever it takes to stop Yin and Yang from coming into contact with each other. Interesting. So game one buffer. If we don't play it. After activating Yang. In less than two turns. Oh, I don't have. So you need Yang in the deck, I assume, as another card. We'll wait here, but. Sounds interesting. I'm not I don't remember that specifically though. Actually an incinerate is pretty good. Alright, buffer. A little bit of nonsense here. Go ahead and give me ancient power. Spike protocol is fine. Not good, not bad. Um planning. Go ahead and do that for me. Pre-program. But stasis filled up there. Go ahead and get that loop kind of started. Current here, and then we will yeah, we'll attack here. This hits the buffer, but that breaks one of the two down. Hey, okay, happy flowers, pretty nice. Incinerate, very good. Give me that piercing hide. Play that. Um, we gotta play this. So make him a little less healthy, and we'll continue along here. Okay. Curl up. Actually, we're very close to that. So let's go ahead, pop that, throw this up in there because that's where we want it. All right, piercing hide for a little bit more thorns. Nine thorns is a lot. We are out of energy, unfortunately. Uh, free defend here. Um, I will go ahead and do this. 
Center, okay. Not really what I wanted, because this thing's going to hit us for, yep, 15. And that 24 right off the bat does hurt a little bit. The freaking void. I gotta just do this, I guess. Luckily, we have some free cards that are gonna put more cards into our pile here, but. There's a void. Yeah, this dude generated a bunch of voids. Luckily, we're okay, but. What's a bit of nonsense? Wait a second. Are we. Oh, you. Duck. Because we're immediately, whenever we do it, we're drawing it and then discarding it off. So they immediately activate and then we don't get any value out of it. Okay. Luckily, we can continuously do this. I mean, it's not the best. We're going to continuously take a, like, slew of damage. But it will eventually be okay. Heal back. Piercing hide up. I kind of just want to curl. Let's go ahead and reprogram first. Throw that roll attack in there. We need some damage. Block. We are blocked for 24, so we can continue. Yeah. Let's twin slam here. Let's curl up. Throw this defend in there. We'll probably need it at some point. And we're going to just continuously keep our mode shift down here. And there's the void. Yep. Drew another void. Another. We have no energy this turn. Kind of nonsense. Uh, throw. Twin slam. Oh, we don't have any up there. That's for five at least. Pop ourselves. Okay. Big current dreaming. Heal back up. Put two cards. Put a void up there. Okay. Oh, can't play any more piercing hide that we can play. Incinerate. We'll get this to our hand. There's the damage. There's this. Should have done that a little different, but at least the void is up while well, it's going to go to our hand. Yep. Draw two of them. Do more damage to ourselves. That's fine. Um, curl up. Ah, oh, we can't curl first. Oh, we're gonna get poked for 24 this this time. It's gonna hurt. But we exhausted one of the voids at least. Oh, there's one drawn. Two drawn. I feel like they're very sequential. Kind of annoying. And heal up again. I mean, that's all I can really do. The dark orbs are really like circling around. This one's 42 damage. If he ever gets to like push it over. Okay, planning. Yeah, get a void up and out of here. That's fine. And I just want to lay some damage onto this man. Okay. Oh, we didn't draw one. Okay. Um, heal up. Curl up. Throw stasis field up here. Incinerate. Roll out attack. And he's dead. I was surprised how bad uh, behavior, uh, behavior adjustment kind of messed us up there. Um, Bird of Judgment, actually P to a minimum of nine. All status and curses in your hand. From this card effect, yeah, that's fine. That actually will stop us from having nonsense. Turn the stasis, tick, deal, total damage to random enemy. Volatile. Hmm. Not that great. Honestly, I think I'd rather have an Onyx or a Citrine. Probably Onyx, honestly. Okay. Have your turn replaced two random play game winner at the start of your turn. Places two random relics. Hmm. I don't know what that means. It replaces two of our relics. None of our relics besides Sunflower and Tal are like that great. And Grillin Horde's good. This doesn't do anything. Wax Seal is nonsense. Vice is nonsense. Let's try it. It sounds kind of wonky. Uh, let's just continue our ascent here. I don't know how it's going to work, but it sounds weird. I love that we can start in a portal and go immediately to the fires. It's a weird little bit of generation. Drop here, but not that great. Two elites, late line shop. I'm way more interested in. Ignore that shop and we'll go this way. No, we want the elite. Max is two. I still will take the late line shop. Yes, yeah, we'll get another campfire here if we do it this way. Does that matter to us? Oh, well, we won't get this elite. That's what we want. I guess this is the right path. 
Enhance, put Onyx in something. Probably Incinerate, that's like my best card right now. Uh, let's smith something. I'm gonna smith it. This is the card I wanna play. I would love to get another copy too. Remove our strikes, replace them. Okay, so has this done anything? So yeah, I don't have Sunflower and something else right now. But I assume I get them back, right? Boom. This. Poke you with that. Fragment of the Universe. Let's do Recover. Piercing Hide. Throw that up there. And that. Seems okay. Alright. Um, Bird of Judgment. They lose... So he'll lose 8. Oh no, it was max 9. Yeah, okay. It's fine. Not good or bad, really, in the grand scheme of things. Okay. I was told to, told to take all the burb cards, so... That's what I'm doing. Reprogram here. Um, is this... And we maxed out on our block. Well, not maxed out, as in... Hit the number we needed. This. Okay. Incinerate. Uh, recover, throw him back up there. No need to plan. Continue with damage. Okay. Power. Floating orbs is fine. Judgment. Let's do this. Throw stasis field back up there. We don't need the block, really. Throw twin spark up there, I guess. Seems pretty good. Okay, so now we're getting the orb slams. Four damage, piercing, healing, poke. Oh, we just have our big, big rolling attack. Um, old lady is fine. More damage. I don't think I need more cards though. I think there's other cards I'd want to see. Upgraded suspension. Again, need more orb slots. Break the trap. Oh, <sighs> man, it's good way. Just barely. Bottle of rain. Do the card. I will always re Did that break this card. Right? If it's it's when you it leaves your hand, right? Uh, if this card is in your hand, no, if it's in your hand. Gotcha. Um, what would we want to retain? Roll attack? Sure. Oh, if it's quite perfect. Ooh. There we go. That's the stuff we want. More stasis slots. Alright, we need to do more damage here, so... Hopefully we can do that. Set up for a big... well... The best turn. I was just say set up for a big turn here, but... At the end of the day, we did some damage. 15 coming from... Oh, that's gonna hurt them now. Let's see. How do I do this? Ancient powers here. Yeah, we're not gonna get into it, I don't think so. Piercing high, that's six. Not gonna get into stasis. Yeah, we'll just heal here. Oh, I should play that one, but five more damage. Oh, I could have languid them too, that would have made sense. I didn't think about it. Um, can I get damage? Recover. Wind strikes. Incinerate. Wind strikes will be back next turn. Um, take 15. Sure, let's get the damage out. Oh, we're not going to take anything. Alright. Part of Judgment, this should be 40 damage, right? Oh yeah, that's actually super good. Suspension, just whatever. Curl up. We got the stasis deck on lock, it's just now we need the payoff for it. More accelerate. Ooh, another card we haven't seen. Alright, magical girl. Gain four strength for every eight attack card you play. Cards in your hand at the end of your turn. Exhaust all cards to the left of this card. Okay. Not good or bad. Uh, amethyst is pretty Alright, shot me. Well, if there's spice I can't take. Orb walk is good, but volatile. 
I mean, I kind of do like Red Candle a lot, though. I'll take the rug. What I sell, even? Oh, rain. Oh, wait. Deck. Give me this and this. Yeah. Makes sense. So we have one IOU. Max HP or heal 26. Yeah, max HP is always good. Continuing on to the left. All right, so this is 12. Ooh, we have a spicy hit. Undecided. So we face this field. Incinerate her. Ancient power. Armor protocol. Not the best. 12 on the scary lion. And we do that. Still gonna take a while up here. All right, now we gotta watch the house. That's the hard part. Ooh, okay. Um, ugh. Not really the hand I wanted. Time classers could be very good. Do need a stasis field. Two more cards I can play. I don't want an orb walk yet. I want to slap it into my stasis. You get whenever she's attacked. Okay. Hit that lion. Let's bend again. Hit the lion one more time. We're also gonna languid here. Make sure I don't take too much damage. Oh, just damn. Whoops. Took more damage than I needed to there. Okay, so... Every eight attacks. Everything to the left of this. Isn't that at the end of the turn, right? I need to throw that in a freaking slot. And I have no slot to throw it in. Okay, heal here. Amethyst on both of you. Hide. That's actually not too bad. Recover. Orb walk. There we go. And I'm not taking any damage, so we'll just do that. And that should be exhaust, right? Yep. Alright, we need to keep in mind we're bleeding now. So, not fun. We need... Oh, curl up's really good here. Um, throw a stasis field up there. Pretty good. Uh, we're going to suspension here. Place this into there. I need to play it currently. Our roll attack is good damage. Okay. Free program, throw or walk back up in there. Another copy of it, which I don't know where I got that from. Um, we can play another card, so let's universe. Oh, we cannot play another card. But we have plenty of blocks, so it didn't matter. We're really slow rolling this, but okay with that. Everything to the left of this we need to play. Um, I'll incinerate first. Okay. That went volatile and we just gained the strength, I think. Reprogram. Um, throw a fragment up there. And then planning, we'll put one of those two. Judgment's 12. Strike. Hit you. I want to know if this... can't remember exactly how that works. Uh, amethyst here. Suspension. Draw a card. Um, we'll throw this up there. This is just free. Curl up. Uh, oh yeah, we saw plenty of energy. Curl up. Throw that up there. Right. Defend. Defend. House is back mad. I should have played one less defense. That's fine. Yes, I think, yeah, the the orb walk, volatile means it's just played. It, re it exhausts and so it returns to your hand, but we still gain the strength every time it ticks. So I think you get one additional strength pretty much. All right, heal here. Remove that. We are in defensive, so this should kill that one. Um, piercing hide is very good. And 18, you're just dead overall anyway. Okay. That was Twin Slam for fun. She's taking a ton of damage. Oh, we have 10 strength. That's why she's taking a ton of damage. Amethyst here. Uh, incinerate. You should be close to... Yeah, you're dead, dead. I should heal first, though. And then we'll do 10 damage. Oh, 14. 
Okay, another card we haven't seen. I not mean to add it, I meant to unlock it. Not this one, you. Not this one, you. Okay, singing machine. 22 damage if your current is higher than 20% of your max, lose 4 HP and deal an additional 50 Okay. In your hand, a random card gains exhaust whenever you exhaust a card. Card gains exhaust this way. Exhaust a random card. Before this card gains exhaust this way. Exhaust a random card. I don't know what that means. It says exhaust like nine times. Hmm. That part's better. Then, yeah, recovery is pretty good. In the front, you drop on stasis five block. Actually, Orbs of Heart's free though. Which has its own demerits. Overkill is dull. Choose a card. The Cleavus is damned. Ooh. Tuffy. I think I'll take Firecracker though. Overkill could be good. Yep, like on this kind of fight. Alright. Um, I don't, yeah. Let's first suspension this card. I don't really want it currently. Alright. This should just do a 12 damage. Go ahead and incinerate you. Ancient power here. Revenge protocol. Heal up a little bit, and then we're just gonna block. Are gonna take a, a hefty chunk, but that's fine. Let's there's orb walk. Can I throw that up there? I cannot. Okay, heal some more. Amethyst, very good here. Twin Slam is 12. Yeah. So yeah, let's hit this one back here. Trying to decide what the best move was. Okay. Defensive mode, so we gain the additional strength here. Singing Machine is 18, so that just kills you. Deals damage to a bunch of us. Alright, play that. We're just gonna go ahead and get ourselves set up. Should just kill this one too. Go ahead and reprogram a card into stasis. Pretty much fill up our stasis slots here. We'll block up there. And that's good because everyone's dead. Alright. Full hand. So we need to play this. And we'll recover. Back up there. Quinn Slam you. Reprogram or walk back up there. I'm not sure why we're getting double copies of that. Does confuse me a slight bit. Okay. They did heal because they got a good chomp on that one. Roll attack. On the damage. Um, we're going to, yeah, suspension this again. Two free defense here. 57. Our card. Oh, the, the slime up there is actually not, not the worst card I've ever seen to get. And then we'll just kill you again. All right, more healing here. The healing's really helping me to just like play the lobotomy cards without really worrying about the fact that I'm taking damage from them. Cause then you get into nonsense ranges like right here where, yeah, I'm taking damage from something, but I'm also like kind of stabilizing. And the same machine does 32 and yeah, does four back to me and then 30 to them. Oh, double spice rewards. Card. If you play two cards at the same time, same or exhaust the latter card. Nah, I don't really need that. We'll skip here. And hmm, do I take spice or do I take spice? Now oh, we don't want to need it. Actually, give me the tourmaline. It'd be kind of good. And especially with the rest right here. Who can blame me? Throw amethyst into piercing hide, maybe. Yeah. And then we'll throw. Tourmaline just into... Oh, I should throw Tourmaline in the Piercing Guide. Um, twin Strike, that's fine. Extra Thorns are just good. And then we'll Smith. Get that Orb... Oh yeah, we have two Orb Walks. That makes much more sense. Okay. Fire Coast Stocks, I do not need to invest in. They do not have my best interest at heart. Smith the other Orb Walk. A little bit more strength, and it's not volatile, so we can continuously repeat the process. Can I kill you here, Shopkeep? Probably not. If 
but I can try. Our deck is pretty dang slow. It is just part, part of the course of what we're doing here. Um, orb support. We're not including orb walk. Reprogram. That's an orb walk that we hit though. Mm. Let's actually recover the suspension for next turn. Stasis field, and then we'll hit them. Okay. That'll allow me to set up something else. Oh, 25 damage here. Does kind of feel like mountain poop garbage. Set up this. Go ahead with the healing. Hmm. Well, our, our sockets are set, so let's drink this. Play it for no effect. That. Okay. And we take no damage. Very good use of the card. Or the potion. I'm sad we didn't have thorns there, because that's really what uh makes that fun. We're just going to orb walk here. Really just continuously get some more damage and also healing. While we can. Um, we'll get one good turn next turn. Because orb walk's about to, to come back to my hand. We'll play it. We have Singing Machine. Um, let's curl up. That didn't even work. Oh, I, I didn't play it. Curl up, throw. This in there. Okay, we're going to incinerate here just to play this. Floating Orbs is fine. Judgment's 40. Singing Machine is a bunch more. Four to me. So, still didn't get them. Not even close. But I don't want lifesteal. Yeah, this card has a lot of stipulations. I don't really want that right now. Uh, Fairy Dex is fine. It's just a good, like, fill in the slot card. More spice that I can't take. Spiker Protocol is actually pretty dang good. But I'm actually going to remove uh, something. Which one? Let's remove a basic strike. That seems pretty good. I also need to remove the IOU that I forgot I had. I was hoping I would just be able to remove it there, but alas, it's not that easy. Oh, and we got a green noon combat with some little robot men. Process of understanding. Interesting. Orb support. Go ahead and heal. Time passers. Go ahead and recover. Yep, that. Piercing hide here. Suspension. Um. Hmm. Let's just suspend a strike, I guess. Fragment. And then we will do this. Can I just play this card now? Okay. That guy just messed himself up. Yeah, they do. Thorns is going to be very nice against them. So we're going to curl up here for orb walk. We'll incinerate, I guess, the backliner. Get that free defend out of here. Now I'm actually going to let the the Phoenix lapse this turn. And I get a little damage on me. But now I'm, I've switched modes again. Okay. Stuff's doing some damage to me. Not quite sure what, but something is. Um, throw a stasis field up there. Get it upgrading. You defend. Oh, well, Ancient Power. Ooh, another Time Capacitors. Actually, very nice. Um, let's just Twin Slam Backliner again. Uh, six damage, so it's minimum of nine. And kill one of these. Yeah, let's get one of these. Oh, I can't kill you. Well, you'll kill yourself, but... Oh, you're actually already dead. Never mind. All right. Yep. Put them down. This should be as easy as pie. Give me my healing. Give me my orb walk. We'll roll attack here. All right. Not bad. Another relic here. Uh, notes from if you have no, you have no maximum hand size. In six days in a single combat, you die. Does that benefit me? Yeah, because I'm kind of healing a lot, so. Of your turn at the end of your turn, lose one HP and gain every two turns. The HP loss is increased by one. 
only at the first turn. I kind of like that. I don't know if I've ever tried it, but we're going to try it now. Ooh, each time you exhaust a card, gain one strength and lose one HP and heal one HP. Because you exhaust and creature cost the cost by one. I don't think it's the right deck for it, but it is a fun card. Another piercing hide. Oh, actually, emergency is pretty good. Much more acceleration here. About forgot our souls, but let's take those. Hello, King of Greed. You punch pretty hard at some point during this combat. I don't remember exactly when, but let's get you out of here pretty quickly. There's twin slam here. Thorns. And revenge protocol again. He's been glued to our hand. Oh, I have to activate on the first turn of combat. I gotta remember that if we're gonna do it. Suspension, get me this out of here. The other cards I wanna play this turn. Go ahead and recover back the right the piercing hide. Alright, please try hitting me. And you tried. Alright. Good amount of stuff here. Ooh, this is actually super good. Yep, because they're doing tons of stuff. Let's get you for 12. Orb walk, no. Let's just incinerate here. Play that orb walk. Planning, put two more cards up there. Do this, poke you for that. Singing machine, you're just dead. It'll take a little bit, but. Totally fine. I feel six, remember this card is in your hand. Exhaust a second. Uh, no, not the right deck for it. Charge core. Another tourmaline would be good. This card, play different hands and place the card in stasis. Pick, draw the card. Draw engine, not bad. I'm actually okay with that. I think I like it better than the tourmaline. Yeah, perfect. I'm loving time capacitor is just glued to our hand. Um, this hand is not the best. Throw some stuff up. Get me something random. Oh, the IOU. Perfect. Emerald. Let's recover. I guess we'll put this up here. And then we'll poke ya. Poke ya. Oh. Oh, nine damage. And that's three exhausted cards, right? Oh, Exhaust IOU, that's totally fine. Suspension, there we go. Charge core, get that up there. Reprogram, give me the roll attack. Um, I care about emergency, yeah, that's good. We need some block here because we're not gonna be able to play through that. All right, that one's dead. Well, more, we're taking a wall up here. Okay. Oh, everything is randomized this turn? We are confused for some reason. Okay, we'll hit the back line. This will engine powers for stasis engine. Not the best, but... We'll take it. They don't get the exhaust stuff, they don't deal damage. Oh man, ow. Okay. Build a six. Wind slam here. Aces field here. Yeah, we got five strength. That's pretty good. Plan up some cards. Go ahead for the incinerate and go ahead for the wall attack. Works wonders. All enemies become active. Oh yeah, that one has that weird active and inactive. I think we're fine here. Yeah, that gym. Walker Claw would also been good, but I'd rather have the damage in our cards. Not increase our deck size that much more. Okay. That heal me six. Nothing good here to suspend like that. Draw the card, but there. then we're gonna time capacitor here. Hit you for twenty four. Hit you for a little bit. Defend for a bit. And spike for a bit. And that's the turn. Not very exciting. Um, yeah, curl up first. That. We do that. Heal for a bit. Oh, there we go. 
That is volatile. Okay, we don't get charge core out, which sucks. But we do get it. We do get both of the walkers implemented. Okay. This is going to be nasty. Incinerate right here. More strength. Wind slam. Let's get that shiv going. Roll attack is just good damage over all of them. Heal up. Emergency. Give me some more strength. Put back up top. I think the roll attack. Yeah. We'll get these two done pretty quickly. Yep. One HP on that one. Okay. Incinerate gets that dead. This. Um, we gotta play this one. We gotta play this one. Those two I'll let go, honestly. We'll do that. Floating orbs is actually really good with the amount of of uh, block we have. I guess we'll exhaust this one. Okay. Orb slam 16 for two. Good. 18 damage shiv. Um, throw a piercing hide up there. Right for 20. This is 18 to all fighters. I'm gonna do that much to myself because yeah. He's doing 13 to me, so we'll let him keep thinking he's ahead. 16 for 2. Ooh. Yeah, it's flame shield up. I'll just power through it this time. First game retain. No, I don't want that. Five souls. Onyx. Another spice. Pressure to cost each turn costs one more. This combat. There's that shrinking uh, shrinking drought again. The six card. We're not playing six cards a single turn. I feel like this in the silent would be a good run. Let's take another spice. We're up to three. Continue our ascent. All right. Let's see. We need. I need to be doing this thing. I don't remember that. Elite. Elite. Plenty of rests here, too. Why get. Go for it. Enhance. We got some good ones here. Twin Slams. Getting some more artifacting. Throw this gym into suspension. Give me this into whatever. Does not matter. Um, we'll keep the emerald again. I want three stasis slots. I didn't even think to upgrade this one earlier. All right. <laughs> spice or spice. Let's keep going. They make. Hello, friend. I'm not too worried about you, if I'm being honest. Um, can I get a walker orb up there? I cannot. Orb support. Dreaming. Charge core. Let's incinerate here for pre programmed. Throw the recover up there. We're gonna twin slam, we're gonna bird of judgment. And we're actually gonna let the orb walks go to the discard pile. We'll try to get them out in a minute. Our, did we I thought I played my whatchamacallit? Huh, okay. Do this then. Let's he's only doing twelve, let's heal. So we don't take fifteen. I'm also gonna do this. Oh, stasis is good. Whoopsie doo. Plenty of thorns. Twenty more. If I can get there's time to faster. Curl up. Let's throw this up there. And we're gonna suspension. Throw that up there. And then we're just gonna block here for a good amount. Let's recover the orb walk. As we intended to earlier. And he's gonna beat the crap out of himself. Okay, incinerate. Heal for six. Then we'll emergency here. Give me that back. Curl up. We'll just toss the card up there for fun. Poke, poke, poke. Seven strength. We're doing awesome now. Okay. Oh, uh, the coins count as statuses. It keeps poking me for that. Not the best, but not the worst. 
Skill six. Planning two. Do this, and you're dead. Usually that chest sucks, but. The card against Neko. You do not choose a card, you may choose something. Nope, let's just take another spice. I'm, I'm riding the spice train. Actually, is watching this good? Oh, we're taking another spice here. I meant to look again, but. Too late. Alright. We have a Amber Dusk. This should not be hard. Or additional strength, two decks. Highly addictive. Okay, gotta remember. Let's see. Let's go with the orb support first. Get the strength. Suspend. Let's do ancient power. Seems to make the most sense. Piercing high, ship him. I want to really let the thorns do a lot of the work I like to start with. I want to go singing machine here. A little bit of damage myself. I'm part of judgment. Also, we'll play this one. Eight to each of us. Planning stays there. Time capacitor. One, one to near. Near the healing back. <sighs> Dang, 50 damage. That. Well, he has a. Uh, shifting, though. So we need to poke him a couple times. Or at least a time. Gonna hit you for eight. I'm actually going to. Do this, too. Give me the emergency. Uh, just exhaust. Um, we're planning for free. Up is not enough. Oh, okay. I'm gonna flex off us. So. Should have done it at the beginning of the turn, but I really don't want to take that much damage. We're still taking a good bit. Like, seriously. Went in defensive, so. At least the other ones take damage, but. I need to do. I had full health. <laughs> okay. Um. Screaming. Let's roll attack here. Deal damage to a lot of them. We just gained a bunch of energy, too. All right, suspension or walk. A little piercing hide. We will shiv. Um, this. We have nothing to recover, but we can just play it so we don't exhaust it. And then we will in judgment, and then nothing. He might kill himself. No, he has two left. Enough to heal, and then we'll twin slam. Another one down, and I still. I gotta remember to do that. Status fiction mirror. Uh, at the start. Of, and lose for it at the start of each combat. Why? I don't think I want any of these. Yeah, at midnight. Ooh, another new card. After playing this card, you take 20% less damage and heal 1 HP every turn. Uh, you deal 15% more damage. Every five card, every five cards you exhaust increases this card's cost by one. Uh, and then it turns gold. Uh, if the cost of this card is higher than two, it splits into four army and black cards in your draw pile. After all army and black cards are exhausted, return a random card to your hand. Is there any negative to this? You take 20% less damage and heal 1% every turn. You deal 15% more damage every 5 cards you exhaust. Increase the cost of this card by 1. If the cost of this card is higher than 2, it splits in the 4 army of black. And then after all army of black cards are exhausted, return a 0 copy of this card to your hand. I mean, it just seems good. I don't see any, any negative. Uh, at the end of your turn, place 1 card. Basis future plans. I'm going spice. It's just good. We're up to seven. Five strength. Max HP does not matter. Okay. See what we can do here. Um, ugh. Okay, so, yeah. Planning here. It really sucks when we don't start with more stasis slots. So we want to play this. So everyone goes down. Then all these cards are going to end up being exhausted if I don't play them. So we'll play them all. Just for the fun of it. Okay. I think we take a little bit of damage, but not much. And our max HP is just almost down to our current HP. Well, because our current HP was a lot uh, worse. We'll do damage here. 
all of them. Which also triggers our change effect, which is good. Alright. And we'll heal what little bit we need to. Incinerate the eyeball. Alright. And everyone is dead. Uh, White Knight. Hey, no, no, no. Yo, 3 HP, must drag x ray bar. No. No, no, no. I don't think I. Uh. I mean, perfection form. But it is ethereal. We might not get to play it. But more strength. Take that. It'd be very good. Another elite. We'll play this on you. There you go. Support form. That end going. Both the ore blocks in our starting hand does suck. But I definitely don't want to play them yet. Guess we'll just go for this for now. The blizzard. Once are oh, we are super frail. Oh, and we can't play that, which sucks. And kind of, kind of cheat it out. Throw that up there. Is it still frozen up there? It is. Ooh, that is weird. Okay. Hit that. Give me this. Right. Um, let's confirm that. Do I have to pick one? Put, put planning then. We should be drawing the cards we want next turn. Yep, there's time capacitor. I would love construction form up there. Unfreeze it, but it doesn't really do anything. That's construction form then. That gives us some buffer. That buys us actually this turn to do whatever we want to. Okay, let's bench in here. Uh, it's like a weird, like nonsense kind of stuff. Let's get some stuff unfrozen if we can. Do this. Block that up. Okay, we are in defensive now. Need a little bit more block. Go. This will hit our buffer, I bet, won't it? I'm not I don't wanna try it. This for HP. That does hit our buffer. Okay. So that is an inverse synergy there. Don't really like. That. Hit that. Hit that. So long scale combat construction form is actually not great. Besides the fact you get two buffer, which is definitely good, but that hits underneath our buffer. Get this up here. That, and we still have frozen stuff can't take advantage of. Huh. Okay, a bunch of stuff was exhausted. Black army, okay. Face is field. Um, all these will be exhausted because I cannot. There's no ice cube to blow up anymore. So. Okay. Bunch of cards are exhausted again. Our, our deck's down to 16 cards. Okay, let's try this. Let's hit them for two. I mean, I guess I just double orb walk. I mean, I at least play one orb walk here. Because I don't see why not. I need to be able to kill them. Block our heal damage and do something. So we play this again now to heal some up. 20 damage to them. Play this. Two good cards are frozen. And I do not know how to unfreeze them now. Okay. That. Heal. Or block. And okay. Give me once again. He is just dead now. Another card I haven't seen. Ooh, Melting Love, gold card. A card of your choice gains a heart symbol, reducing its cost to zero. Whenever below 50% of your, of your HP, your max HP, any damage you receive that is 10 or higher is reduced by 10. And then you return a random card in the same pile, transforms it into a slime card. And that card cancels the effect for two turns. If you 
if the card with the heart symbol is exhaust, exhaust all slime cards and lose 15. See, whenever it's this card is exhaust, so exhaust all slime cards without the heart symbol. Aw. Oh, I don't think I want that, but it's definitely interesting. Ooh, Thread and Needle's really good. I would rather have that currently. 20, 22 with all enemies. That's pretty good. <laughs> okay, Spice is getting a little out of hand. Fine though. Another shop coming up. Not guaranteed. Hopefully we'll get one. I guess I'll break the Emerald Key just in case. If we don't get one, it's not good. Let's remove the Ethereal from this. That way, if we miss it by accident, we will be okay with that. Little Pinocchio here. All right. Warp support. All right, Dream. Let's go ahead and recover that. Throw that back up top. This card is in here. That's Emergency. Throw that on there. Is this repulsor is fine and that and a bunch of cards just got exhausted <laughs> sure why not i'm faster reprogram um do that then pokey for 17 and pokey again okay like three cards every turn are being exhausted. Black army. Yep, there we go. Alright. Pension, uh, orb walk. There we go. <laughs> we put both of this stupid uncontrolled deal 10 damage to yourself, black army. Okay. You really need a big a big deck for that so you don't deal with it. Yeah, we're gonna hit, get both of them. They're gonna exhaust. Oh no, they're just in our hand now. They just exist there. Throw this card up there. Actually, I should have let it exhaust them both. That would have made way more sense than to just let them exist in our hand. No, oh, they actually ended up just exhausting themselves anyway. The black army here again. Stasis, another orb walk. Good. Good for 13. Another stasis field. Fill up. Block. Poke again. Oh, Nokia. How did he get those cards? He just does cards that I had. Imposter, I guess, is what that's from. Judgment. Curl up again. Um, pop that up in there. 24 damage. We got plenty of block. Okay. And oh, they would kill himself. Right? There we go. Not the worst. Alright, so Dimensional Refraction variant. Whenever this card exhausts, gain two intangible. Played deal 14 to herself. We're not exhausting enough cards. Card card you play, apply a mark. Exhaust the second turn. Uh I don't play that many attacks. That's one of the things that for one of these, I still haven't done this. Um, for one of these that I haven't done, I am going to do that next fight. Boom. All right. I okay. We, we've done it. I've been, we were trying to. Punishing bird is, I know, not good. <laughs> if I remember right, they do mean things. So let's get this going here. All right, let's go ahead and incinerate. Charge core. Suspension is useless. Actually, no well, emergency. Ancient power. Let's curl up the orb walk. And then we'll just play that. So we should be good here. Actually, we're probably going to get slapped, but... Actually, we ended up not getting slapped. I was wrong. There's construction form. I can just play it. Oh, 40 damage coming out. Um, where those creatures attack? Oh, use a powerful attack next turn. That is it. Hmm. 
But we'll do this first. Seems pretty good. I'm just gonna keep poking at it, I guess. Can I get... That's not enough brace, unfortunately. Gain one temporary dex. We'll do that, I guess. Oh, wait. This just that gives buffer. But I don't have any blocks, so I'm not gonna... Both All the buffer's gone. We're about to get slapped. Very badly. Down to 11. Lovely. Another 40 damage. Not surprising. Heal up a little bit. Rolling attack. Does hurt them all. There's time capacitor. We do lose that orb walk. Oh, we just had these that I could be playing, I guess. 15. That's it. If I would only paid attention, we could have saved a lot of damage we would have took. I guess it's when we killed this bird we got it. So technically, it wasn't specifically our fault. Can't kill that bird. This bird's doing 40 more damage. Hmm. What to do? Oh. oh wait, he's just dead. I was concerned. Ah, actually. Get rid of this one. The double Maltov ones are actually pretty good. I'm not going to go for the rest. We're just going for the Gusto here. Um, time Bomb, 30 damage to all. This is actually matters a lot more to draw a card. Ooh, a Prince of Silence. Or Price of Silence. Okay, healing. Suspension. Gross, nothing here is very good. Let's do this. We'll just poke this person here. Emergency that back. Play another card. And then we play six cards in a single turn. Oh, our turn's about over. Not realize that. Should have paid more attention, but it's fine. He only did a, a small amount. So it's when we ever replace six cards. Got to keep that in mind. It's doing 17. Construction form now. Piercing hide. That's 10. And I have nothing else I can play. So we'll lose one buffer. And we took 15 from our own card. We lost both buffers. We didn't take any damage. I guess that counts for something. Do that. Time capacitor here. Time bomb here. Poke this man. Defend. I'm just getting walloped. Really, really doing it to me. We're going to draw a whole hand of stolen times. Oh, those are just dropped off and we're taking damage for them. That's fine. Um, eight more block here. Throw me a suspension in there. Very good. Rollout here is actually also very good. Deal that damage. And then we will planning here. And really fill up our whole hand. Because this time bomb should go off and help me finish this. There's the stolen times. Psh. Guys, calm down. Okay. I just actually kind of need a to finish this now, if I can. Uh, I don't know if I'm able to, though. This is 8. Courage Course 26. Bird is 8. Okay. Done with that. I'm actually going to do this. I was hoping for some kind of healing. Specifically. I uh, know I wanted this up there, but it's just going to drop it. That's fine. Reprogram. End the turn. It's fine. Under four. And we might die. Yep. Oh. Oh, and our healing card is just not in here. I need a, a something that does 31 damage. So there's a start. I can't play that. It'll kill me. There we go. Two HP. Oh, we're definitely probably going to die here. But we tried. We're just going to die to... Unless this is a heal. Nope. 
Remove a socket card, gain its gem. All gems and socket. Remove a card, gain a random gem. Add a gem to a socket. Sure. I actually should have probably destroyed one of these cards that are going to kill me. Which is... This one probably will be the death of me. But I'm not quite sure. Oh, back to the blue shrine again. Will they get me? About to find out. Alright. Gain the six healing. Super important. Time capacitor here is also important. They deal 15 on death. They explode and deal 15 damage. Throw a construction form up here. I need healing if possible. I, uh, actually, I need block just as bad. Relic card. Throw this up here. Defend. Give this stupid statue. Charge core this stupid statue. Wind slam this stupid statue. Strike this stupid statue. Alright, we're taking a little bit. But we can heal six more. Okay. Heal six. Super important. Um... Okay, I don't know where I'm going now. 19 and 19. You guys are just... Real, real sons. Alright, piercing hide here. I can't get to... Actually, accelerate this. Play construction form. That saves me from dying. I go with ancient power here, I think. Revenge protocol's fine. Planning's more stuff. And then we just let the buffer eat the damage. We take no advantage off of it, but... And they're doing 32 here. Alright. Curl up. Good time for you. Throw that in there. This one... Reduce the damage. Oh, is that better or worse here? I'm going to take 30 from that, which will kill me. I have no addition. I can't roll out anyway. I think I'm still dead. Yeah, I'll gain 12 more block. And this is 13 to all enemies. Well, 13 to everyone. All fighters. Alright. Now, I might be slightly alive. No, I I'm taking one over. <sighs> Blue Shrine Tower. I just got walloped that one before. Um, Paperclip actually kind of, I didn't really care for um, we can change anything. What's fine? Yeah, I just, I got walloped again. Oh, we almost did it, though. I, I figured if I could get the, the pyramid down first, we could do it. But it is what it is. That's going to do it for this episode, guys. I hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, please hit that like button. Subscribe if you want to see more. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye, guys.